All right, welcome back to the Psycho Glander Podcast. All right. So, last week, or whenever that, you were listening like, to this. That was yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks. That was like two weeks ago. Whenever. Uh, we were reviewing the movies that came out in 2017. This is sort of part two of that. And we're going to look ahead to all the movies that come out in 2018. Uh, we're, what, two weeks into January now? Yeah. So there have been some movies that came out, but as with most times in January, uh, it's a lot of smaller things like The Commuter with Liam Neeson and Paddington 2 and stuff we wouldn't talk about on a podcast otherwise. So we're probably just going to breeze right over those. Yeah. Um, do you, when you, uh, when you have to write down the date, do you, like, forget what year it is? I, at, at the start of a new year? I don't think like, I've had, have you, have, do you write, like, 2017? I don't think I've had to write the date yet this year. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, well, I had to write it a lot. Sometimes I still write 2016, I don't know why I'm, oh. I'm stuck in that year. You ever, you ever, uh, you know, it comes, it comes to your birthday, and you have to write something down, and you end up just writing the year you were born. I always do that. No. Oh yeah. No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, During your like, birthday, you have to write something like down. Like if I like if I have to write a check, and it so happens to be on my birthday that I'm writing it, I won't write 2017, 2018. <laughs> I mean, I'll write 1987. I I've, uh, nev- I've never written a check uh, on my birthday. I can 100 percent guarantee that. I've had, I've had it happen. I don't know why you're writing it on your birthday. You just forget about paying for things. Oh, well, you know, sometimes things are due. No, don't, don't worry good. about it. You get a day off. It's your birthday. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. Continue. Yeah. 2018, we haven't really gone in-depth into a lot of these movies yet. We've we've briefly talked about some of them. Yeah. Either in previous podcasts or I not. briefly even know about some of them. Yeah. So, before we get started, uh, 2018, your prediction. Good year for movies? Bad year for, bad year for movies? What are you thinking? I can only hope it's better than 2017. 2017 was not a good year for 2017 movies. 2017 kind of sucked in, yeah. most, in most regards yeah. for movies. There were, there were a couple of highlights. Yeah, like a couple of months there was a good movie. Yeah. But well, uh, yeah. overall... I, w- I wasn't running to the theater very often. No. Uh, 2017 might have been the year I went to the movies the least amount of times. Yeah. I was hardly ever there. I would pretty much go for some superhero movies. Which is sad because I got a lot of gift cards. Yeah. Or a, uh, or like for a, a Greatest Showman or something. Something that just looked like, oh yeah, I definitely want to check it out. But yeah, there weren't a lot. Or, or if you're unfortunate like me, then, then you saw Alien Covenant. Yeah. Was that last year? Yeah. Yeah. You forgot about that in the last podcast, too, I think. Uh, like, did I that think come so. out this year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that forgettable. Yeah. It seems like it was years ago in a nightmare or something. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So, so well, really quick, because I don't, I don't even know most of the movies coming out. You have a list. So, uh, I want you to predict whether... Whether or not it, it is going to be better or not than last year. Uh, I said I hope, but, but I want you to predict before you even look the list. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say better than last year. Fine, well, then I'll say worse. Okay. I'll say worse than last year. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go through this. And that would be depressing. Maybe once you hear... All of them, and toward the end of the podcast, we'll sort of rethink mm-hmm. after we discuss them a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, to start off, uh, Marvel is releasing three MCU films this year. Yeah. Kind of like they've done several times. The first one coming out is going to be Black Panther in February. Okay. Are you excited about Black Panther? Not particularly. Me neither. A lot of people are. I, I was really excited after the first trailer, and then the next trailer dropped my excitement completely. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going to see it, but Yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah, not going to rush out. That second trailer really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Um, and I, I like getting rubbed sometimes. Especially the wrong one. Especially by Panthers. Oh, 
Now, okay, uh, so what, what was the first superhero movie to come out last year? Logan. It was either Logan or like, like a Batman. I think they came out like the same month or something. So do you think Black Panther will be better than either of those? I know you're going to say no. No. I think, I think it'll be more, I, I think it'll be more exciting than Logan. I don't know if it'll be a better made movie though. Like, I don't know if it'll be technically better. It may be more entertaining. Hopefully. But. I don't, I don't, I don't think Black Panther has a license. I don't even think he drives a car. So, it'll, so there'll definitely be he less of that. He probably won't be driving a car through the desert. Yeah, for 45 minutes. Yeah, with, with a little girl who doesn't speak Spanish. Yeah. Should probably. I really didn't like Logan. No, oh, okay. Logan was okay. <laughs> it was it was fine. It's one of those movies, the longer I think about it... The worse it gets. The worse yeah. it gets. Yeah, I don't want to go back to it. No. I'll, I'll look up some scenes online or something, yeah. and that'll be it for me. Yeah, because I, I don't want to see them drive around, and Professor X is, like, dying and just freaking out all the time. It, uh, I don't want to do that. No. I watched that stupid phone documentary... I want nothing to do with that. All right. Let's continue. Black, Black, Black Panther is better. Black Panther. You, it's going to be better than Logan. Where do you think it's going to in the grand MCU that will be, I don't know, 18 movies when it comes out or something? I don't know, yeah. something like that. Where do you name another MCU movie that you're going to say, quality-wise, that's sort of what you're expecting it to be? Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, probably like the first Thor. Okay, that's sort of that's sort of where I am. Like yeah, a, a first Thor type of thing. Yeah, uh, probably. I think maybe a little more will happen, but maybe I don't know. But in terms of enjoyability, probably in that range, sort of like middle of the pack. Okay. Let's see. All right. The next one, the probably the, the biggest movie that's going to come out next year is Avengers: Infinity War. Okay. It's going to make a lot of money. You know why? Because Captain America has a beard. Yeah. Well, all great people do. Thanks. But he's working on it. <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> anyway. Also known as I haven't shaved in a couple days. Uh, if you want to call that working on it. There's almost no point in going too in-depth into Infinity War. Why not? Because it's the movie that will just have everything. Okay, it that's has, a good summary. It has all the characters. So if I didn't know what a, what this movie was, how would you sell me on it? I would say uh, go to a comic book store, go in the Marvel section where they have all those, and then just start opening all of them and say, I wonder what this would look like as a movie, because <laughs> that's what it's going to be. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Yeah, you'll yeah. Except if you it's do just, that, you'll get like you'll get like Moon Knight and a bunch of like weird it, shit. It doesn't. You just won't know what's happening if you're not familiar at this point <laughs> with these movies. It would essentially be just that. You're yeah. not gonna know what's going on. You'll open up the the comic where like where like Reed Richards is like is like giving a backhand to Sue Storm, and you'll be like, what is what is happening? Exactly. And it's, then you'll go to the movie and be like, I'm more confused. Yeah. Because it will all be unrelated. Unlike an Ant Man or a Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. Yeah. This is going to be a movie you can't walk into blind without any prior knowledge. Well, if you walk into it blind, you're, you're really only yeah, going to be listening just, to the movie. Yeah. It would be more like a podcast movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or. Look, because even people who aren't weren't fans necessarily of the MCU up to that point uh, could have walked into the first Avengers movie and not been lost. That's yeah, what's going on. but I think at this point, most people have it, enough on knowledge. Yeah, they're they're either on board or they aren't. Like yeah. they're not gonna they they're they haven't they didn't go to see Thor three if they weren't already on on board. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> because the, I mean that would be just as confusing. The Hulk is on this this random planet. You don't know what's going on with Thor. Why is Odin gone? And yeah. you really don't know anything about it, you'd be like, who is Odin? Who is Thor? Who's, who's this guy in this horny hat? Oh, man, horny hat sounds different. <laughs> I meant horned hat, and I am referring to Loki. Yes. But, you know, like, 
that you're either in it by now or you're not. I don't I don't think that many people walk in blind anymore. Yeah. Like <laughs> we're too far in. Well, except for my wife. Okay, she, well. She just picks and chooses these movies that ran. Okay, well I can't I can't help her. Yeah. And then she just asks questions. All the time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the just other, be like, look it up. <laughs> look it up. The other Wait, would you be willing to before Infinity War comes out? We'll, we'll take a couple of days and just from the first chronolo- chronological MCU movie up to Infinity War, watch her straight through. Would you do that? I probably would. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd make you it. You have it so many. You could really probably watch, like, I don't know, two a week or something or one a week. Yeah, I'm I don't know. It would, just be, it would just be waiting for Winter Soldier, like, the whole time. And then it would just, it would, after that, it would just be like, all right, I want this to be over. We hit our high point. Okay. There you go. All right. And you have to watch all the special features. Oh, and no. And deleted scenes. And, yeah. all the, and all the Marvel one-shots. Oh, boy. And Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, uh, ooh, don't even joke about that. Oh. And, and Iron Fist again. You gotta rewatch <laughs> Iron Fist, even though he won't be in the movie. Yeah. They, we, some, we, someone might say. You can't watch Iron any of the Fist. other ones, because they're, they're too good. Oh, God. But you have to watch Iron Fist again, <laughs> just just so you can hate yourself. Oh, like that would be like a torture device. In some countries, it is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that is in Wakanda. Um, a Marvel's other movie that's coming out is going to be Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised we haven't gotten like anything on yeah. that yet. One of the interesting things is though. Is that, that they have a movie coming out in February, May, and July, and then that's it for MCU movies, where they had been spacing them, like, yeah. a spring, a summer, and then, like, Thor came out, I think, in November, the Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. So, they, they had been, but no, this is first half of the year, a lot of Marvel. Hmm. And then, that's odd. Well, Wait, all when's the last one? July? July. Ant-Man and the Wasp, July. That's like, it's like halfway through the year. But yeah, it's weird yeah. that they don't have anything in the last quarter. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really, uh, well, I mean, whatever. You like really the first Ant-Man, right? First Ant-Man was fantastic. I liked it. I it, it was, it was, it was probably my favorite movie having to do with ants. Ever. Okay. Yeah, Would you agree with that? Uh... Yeah, that's fair. Actually, no, I disagree with that. Oh, jeez. It, it, it's Zoolander. <laughs> what is this? A center for ants? Yeah. There you go. And that, that, that makes it, that that makes it, it ant-related. Therefore, it's better than Ant-Man. Uh, I'd rather have uh, Zoolander and the Lost. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, if I, I'm sure if I went through my movie collection, I'd find a movie I like better that has a reference to an ant in it. Yeah. <laughs> but... As far as movies with ants in the title, that's probably my favorite. One. <laughs> okay. Um, well, did you see Zoolander too? No, I did not either. Everyone said that it was it, it was garbage. Yeah, but you, still, you think I'd see it anyway? One day, maybe we'll watch it. I think yeah. it's on Amazon Prime. I, I wonder if it's Google one of those maybe. things that that like it's just not as as good as people. Remember Zoolander being? I think it's probably one of those things that it was just. It was too many years too late. Yeah. Which is something I'm going like, to say. Because it's like about movies like Zoolander movies. don't come out anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like you like movies like Zoolander. Like that kind of comedy, it doesn't really come out. It's that weird, like, 1998 to like 2002 yeah. brand of comedy. That yeah. It worked really well then. And it still works if you like those movies, but. Yeah. It's like if it's like if another Wayne's World came out. Yeah. Like it would it wouldn't work. Yeah. Like I don't. No, another Wayne's World, another Austin Powers. Yeah. Like, like any of that stuff. It's yeah, just, it wouldn't it wouldn't strike the same. So I wonder how bad Zoolander actually is. Yeah. Zoolander too. Like I said, there's going to be a know. few movies on this list that you're gonna say maybe if that movie came out ten years ago. Ten years ago. <laughs> okay. Then I'd be more interested. <laughs> All right. Uh, but not this not this next one. I don't know if anyone except for me. Is excited about this next one. But we're going to move over to the Lone... Wolf McQuaid? No. The Lone oh. DC Extended Universe uh. movie next year, which is Aquaman. 
It comes oh boy. out. My man! Uh, early December? I'm excited for it. Oh. I, I am not. Not even a little. After after how he was in Justice League, I, I am scared for that movie. Oh. It has a good director? Uh, yeah, but still. So maybe it'll be good? I mean... I, I don't think it will yeah, be. We still, there's still, since it's, you know, 11 months away. Yeah. Or whatever, there's no trailers for it. I may yeah. change my tune when trailers come out <laughs> for it. But as of right now. Or maybe, or maybe it'll be like Justice League, where in the first trailer, Aquaman is just doing, like, all this badass stuff. Like, yeah. Like, drinking and, it could and, be. and throwing Batman against the wall. And then the next trailer, you know, he's cracking one-liners. Yeah. As of right now. Dressed like a bat. They, I dig it. They have my money for a ticket. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see it anyway. Yeah, <clears throat> as of right now, I have. Uh, mm-hmm. You got any? You got any thoughts? There's not much we really know about it, other than Jason Momoa's in it. We don't know anything yeah. about the story. <clears throat> we don't know. What's a, you know what's gonna be rated? Uh, I hope it's rated uh, X, <laughs> triple X. <laughs> but no, it's probably gonna be thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Him and Mara have quite a relationship. Yeah. Man, oh man, I, I. Exactly. If it was rated, if it'll it be was rated, rated it'll be even rated R, X. I would, I would see it multiple times. Yeah, no, it'll be rated X, and its official title will be called Aquaman: Tame the Sea Serpent. I just made that up. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Tame the Sea Serpent? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like none of the other movies no. have had like a side title. Well, that's not true because mm-hmm. it was Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Dawn of Justice still sounds. Fucking retarded. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. No, not versus Batman v Superman. V Superman. Yeah. Like, it's a fucking courtroom. Uh, what a horrendous movie that was. I know, yeah. right? So, we'll probably, once like some trailers and stuff come out with Aquaman, I'm sure we'll talk more about that movie. Yeah. But, some other. Uh, As of right now, just forget about it. Yeah. I'd so, rather just swim in a pool and see Aquaman. All right. I'm being 100%. How do you feel about these other uh, comic book superhero-related films that are coming out? In October, uh, Venom. Ugh. We've talked about Venom before. I'm not I, excited. No, I'm not excited either, but Tom Holland's in it now. Possibly. That's like a rumor that he might have a cameo in it. That's retarded. Which might it. make it an MCU film, but probably not. I don't. I, I don't get it. I don't know. I'm so confused with this whole situation. I don't even think they get it. I don't (laughs) think the people who are making it really know what it is. I hope it's I hope it's like a a horror movie. Well, it does come out in October. Uh oh. Maybe it could be like a Venom's scary. Yeah. I I would be more interested if they just said, Look, it's a horror movie. It's intense. Yeah. It's rated R Venom killing people like he's a slasher. I think it will definitely be rated R. I hope so. If it's not, if it's, it's not, gonna be a very it's, yeah, product. it's gonna suck. Yeah. All right. How All right, about, yeah, how about this next one? Yeah. How do you feel about Teen Titans Go the movie, which comes out in July? Is that an actual theatrical That's an release? Actual in the movie theater, big screen. What? Teen Titans Go the movie. What? Why? I'm gonna put you down for not excited. Why are they doing that? Are you kidding me? No, that's a real movie. There's no fucking way. This July. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure it comes out the same day as Mission Impossible 6, which we'll get to later. What the fuck, (laughs) dude? (laughs) Teen Titans Go, the movie? I think it's actually titled Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Oh, my God, I think that's actually the title. Oh, my God. (laughs) What the shit, dude? Oh, I don't even know how that show's still on. It's so awful. It's terrible. It's such a bad show. Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> that's the worst news I've heard, like, in 2018. Yeah. That's fucking terrible. Well, it's happening. Teen Titans go to the movies. Dude, of all the cartoons to get a, to get a movie... It's that one. It's that one. Where's my Johnny Bravo movie? <laughs> I'd go see a Johnny Bravo movie. Yeah, hell yeah, I would. Dude, see an IMAX. I don't see anything in IMAX. 
IMAX 3D. Those ones with like those like rumbling chairs or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we we can find one of those <laughs> like, 4, 4D places. Right. 4D experience. All right. How do you feel about this next one, Deadpool 2, which comes out in May? Yeah, I'm not, I'm moderately excited. I like the first Deadpool. It was a, it was good. It. Wasn't great. Well, you, you don't like Deadpool. I don't like Deadpool as a character. And you don't and you don't like Ryan Reynolds as an actor. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's so when you don't like the main I don't you like. don't like the main character or the person portraying that main character. Exactly. Of course, you're not gonna say I don't really like Ryan Reynolds either, but I like Deadpool. Yeah. And uh, the first the first movie was certainly a pleasant surprise. Uh. So yeah. Yeah. No, I'll see it. I think it'll I think it'll be fun. I mean, I hope. Hopefully. Uh, or maybe, right. or maybe it just got too big now, and now it's gonna be terrible. Who's to say? I could very well. Because that first one was like a, was, uh, a low budget thing. Yeah, it was an unexpected surprise, I think, for studio and yeah, audiences. yeah, because Fox didn't want to even make it. Yeah, that was that was quite a situation. It's a miracle it came out as good as it did. Speaking of things that are coming out. Oh boy! Just... Wow! Please don't ever lead with that again. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> X-Men. I don't feel so comfortable here anymore. <laughs> X-Men Dark Phoenix. <laughs> oh my god, is that still happening? This November. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, dude, all this news sucks. <laughs> I stand by it. This year is going to be worse than last year. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding? Why are they doing this again? I don't know. There's no way in hell they're going to space either, so it's not even going to be right. I haven't liked an X Men movie since X Two, <laughs> right? <laughs> so no, the Wolverine, the Wolverine, yeah, the Wolverine, which yeah. most people did not like. Yeah, dude, yeah, I haven't, I haven't liked a movie since X Two either. Besides the Wolverine, and I, I mean X Men Three isn't terrible, but it's certainly not good. It, I think it definitely gets a little more crap than it deserves. Yeah, I but mean, it's still not good. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. I think it's a, it's a. Okay, into that that trilogy. Yeah. Whoops. So you're not excited for X Men Dark Phoenix? No, not at Which all. Which will probably be I... the last non uh, Disney X Men movie to come out because Hallelujah. by by the end of 2018 is when they expect all the uh, you know passing through regulation boards yeah. and stuff of one large company buying another large company. So this yeah. will probably be. The finale for the Fox X Men. Oh, thank and, goodness! Yeah, thank God. You, you think you think because of that everyone's gonna die? I hope so. Yeah, I hate that. I hope, I hope they all die yeah, brutally. I hope they all die so that there's no chance that any of them cross over to a new franchise. Yeah, I don't think they will anyway. That cast is so terrible. Yeah, I I don't think Marvel would keep any of them. Yeah, well that's that's the other thing is when you look except at just for, the except for maybe like Magneto. When you look at just the quality of actor on average, those Marvel movies, they get they get A listers. Yeah. They get their Robert Downey Juniors and their Chris Evans and yeah. Scarlett Johansson and stuff. These Fox ones, I don't know half the people's names that are in them. <laughs> yeah. And and you've never seen them in yeah, anything like else. The most famous person is probably Jennifer Lawrence. And yeah. I don't even think she's a good actress. No, I don't either. No, she's just she's pretty. Well, I don't think she can act the same. If I'm being honest, I don't. I don't like Jennifer Lawrence like at all. I don't think she's attractive. I don't think she's like stunning, gorgeous, but you know. Yeah, I don't want to turn this into a Jennifer Lawrence like yeah. show, but still. Yeah. I mean, she's fine, but uh, just not. People lose their shit for acting. Jennifer Lawrence, yeah. and I'm just like, I, really? She's all right. She's fine. She's okay. But I don't like her in these movies. No, I do not. I, don't I mean, know. I don't like any movie I've ever seen that she's been in. So. Uh, I could say that too, yeah. Yeah. It's very much a Ryan Reynolds thing for me. I don't like <laughs> okay. any of his movies. Either. I like Ryan Reynolds more. Probably like Jennifer Lawrence more. I don't like either Actually, one. Actually, you know what? I would like Jennifer Lawrence more too, if I'm being honest, yeah. I don't think she would have ruined Blade the- 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, she was probably on 10 no, cause, or something like Because I've, I've, I've <laughs> seen some like interviews like with her and stuff, and, and she's a lot more fun than she is in her movies. <laughs> Anyway, okay. let's move on so. to, uh, we got two more superhero movies on this list. Oh my god. 
These two, you'll actually probably be excited for. Oh, wow. When in, finally. In June, Incredibles 2. Oh, dude, sweet. Yeah. I didn't sweet. think that would ever actually happen. Yep. In it June. Took so long. Incredibles 2 comes out. You really like the first Incredibles. Oh, yeah, most people do. I'm, like, kind of kind of up two minds. I think it's an okay Pixar movie. Yeah. But some people are like, that's my favorite superhero movie. I would not put it anywhere near the top of favorite superhero um, movies. I, I think it's a fine movie. I don't know. It's. I think it depends what you're looking for in a superhero movie. It certainly doesn't really hold back or anything. That's a problem with a lot of superhero movies, you know? Yeah. They, they, they hold back on anything that's actually like comic booky. The villain. But the Incredibles just goes for it. The villain in the Incredibles breaks on me. Yeah, they yeah, I think that's there. the worst, worst uh, part of Syndrome. Yeah. Is the worst part He's of the movie. The fucking worst. Is yeah. I do like yeah, their. Uh, you, you you don't want them on screen like ever. I wanted this, this movie to be Incredibles to the Adventures of Frozone. Because <laughs> that was my favorite part of the first movie. Frozone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. Yeah. Great. <laughs> No, I'm I'm excited for that. Uh, I would. It's it's a weird thing though, because it's it's like the first Incredibles came out. Two thousand three. Yeah, 2005, like, a, like a while ago. Uh, like that's why that's why I was like that's never actually gonna happen. This could end up being one of those that falls into that. It's a few years too late. Yeah, it might it might not. I mean, kind of like kind of like how, how like Monsters University just kind of like came out of nowhere. Yeah, and you're like, whoa. Yeah, like you're a little behind on on this sequel. Yeah, and I mean, if it's one of those things, if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. And yeah, we'll see it, but it may come off stale. It may because we've had a lot of superhero movies between that first Incredibles and now. Yeah, so they're gonna have to do something different to impress people. Anyway. Uh, the final, as far as I know, and there could for superhero be, movies, for superhero movies, is uh, this Christmas the animated film Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is coming out. I I'm interested. I in am that. interested in that. I like the whole. I'm wearing a Spider Gwen hoodie as we speak, so I think there is good yeah. potential. And I have quite a bit of Spider Gwen. You have on. like a weird shrine in your corner. Yeah, Spider Gwen. Uh, our brother. Loves uh, Spider Man Noir. Yeah. You love Spider Man 2099. Yo, yo. So. 2099 would kill those other Spider Men. So. That's not true. He doesn't have, he doesn't even have Spider Sense, but still. He's a motherfucking thug, man. <laughs> so. So, uh, who, who do you think. Because right now we saw that, that, oh, like, oh, main oh, character so. is, is Miles Morales. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm not I'm not a huge Miles Morales guy. Me neither. He's he's fine at times. Um, a lot of a lot of how I'll view this movie depends on how crazy they go with that whole into the Spider Verse. Yeah. Part. If it ends up being a mostly Miles Morales movie, and then there's just hints or little things of some of the some of the other uh, Spider Verse characters, then yeah, it'll. It'll be forgettable. But if they decide to just kind of go nuts... Yeah. ...and have, you know, so many characters... Spider-Ham is 100% going to be in that Oh, definitely. Movie. No doubt. But if they have a Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Ham, spider Go. Yeah, I wonder... Yeah, and I wonder how much they're, they're going to be in it. I think... I think there's only going to be a few that are that are in it, like, probably, significantly. Probably the notable ones. Yeah, like, well, I think... I think uh, well, Miles Morales, obviously. Definitely Peter Parker. Peter Parker is in it, yeah. Uh, Spider Gwen's gonna be in it. Uh, I'm almost certain on that. Yeah. And then Spider-Ham. Spider Spider Ham, and then maybe maybe we'll get like like a another one, like maybe we'll get like a, a Scarlet Spider. Yeah. Or like a, I I I don't think they do 2099. If I'm being on, if I'm being honest there. Yeah, because this is. But I think there will be a big scene where they show, like you know the, the the web because they always show it in like a web that shows like all the different other Spider-Man. Yeah. I think there'll be one of those that shows like all of them. Oh, you almost you have to. Cause that's yeah. That's how it's always presented. Yeah, as, but there's only gonna be like like those four maybe. So we're actually in it. That has the potential to be really cool. 
fantastic movie or a movie that I see and forget about almost immediately. Yeah. It really, I can't get a read on that one yet. Yeah. But, but was that first trailer was just a teaser. It was pretty big. Yeah. Well, two questions. Uh, one, how did, how did you like the art style? It was kind of like a more extreme Peanuts movie. Uh, art style. I was really digging it. Yeah, I like it. I like that they didn't try to go so hyper-realistic, yeah. but it also didn't feel like it's it was, a, it was a Pixar movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. I think it works really well for like a animated Spider-Man. Um, and also, uh, next question. Ah, oh, shit. What was my next question? Uh, oh, I never read like the the Spider Verse like like crossover with all of them. Yeah. And I never read any of those. I only read their comics like individually. Yeah. Do you know what like what they do when they're all together? Like, who do they fight? Like, what happens? Because there's no sign of a plot yet in that little like minute trailer. Yeah. I'm not like so. I, like, what what do you think it's gonna be about? I don't know. They just get together and fight someone. I did, it was like what was it like a five issue crossover thing for that yeah. Spider Verse thing? It was like a little mini series. I, I didn't, I didn't read it. No, I just read all the everything after. Yeah, like I've the read Spider Gwen, little, little Miles Morales. I've read like an issue of Spider Man Noir. Yeah, and then of course I, I read a lot twenty nine nine. I'm always yeah, I'm always up with that, but so, like I don't I don't know what the what actually happened in that comic. I don't know. I don't know what the what the crossover is. Yeah. So that's my only concern with the movie is like, is it actually going to be like a a well structured movie? I don't know. Or is it just going to be you, a jumbled mess? What do you think like would, comics often What do you think are? would be better? Go to a comic shop and probably find you know the the volume that has the Spider Verse, read it, and then see how the movie does it, or just go in. Just not knowing how they're going to do it so that you're not disappointed if it doesn't match up to how... I think just going to the movie. That is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, for a number of reasons. Um, you're also, we're also... One, like, I, I doubt it will actually follow it that closely. And two, I think if you read a comic, you're going to get more confused. Because in the movie, they're going to introduce these characters. In the Spider-Verse comic, like, they expect you to know who half those people are. Yeah. Like, I, I assume they don't go through introductions for everyone. Like no. Besides, like a brief title. Yeah, except people who can't kind of came out of it, like a yeah. like a Spider Gwen. That was yeah, a result yeah. Of that, but. but it's like Miles Morales he, already yeah. established. He, he took exactly. over the ultimate. All right. Well, that. Oh, uh, what was it? You know, he, they're, they're actually changing his name in the comics to to Mike Morales. No, no, not his like actual name. Oh. But he's not going to be like the new Ultimate Spider Man or just Spider Man anymore. They're calling him uh, Spidey. Just Spidey? Yeah, but it's spelled S P Y D D. Spy D. I know, I gonna, know. Is he at least going to be a spy? I heard that and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously? Spy D. And then I watched this like, rant about it and they were like, someone got paid to make this name. <laughs> I was like, that's retarded. Anyway, why would he be a spy? He's like a child. I don't isn't, know. Isn't Silk like a some kind of yeah. spy or something? Yeah. I don't yeah, know anything Silk. about Silk. I kind of want to, though. Silk is... Uh, so if anyone was, was going to be called Spy D, it would be the spy. I don't know. Maybe they're going to make him a spy. Yeah, maybe. maybe he's going to be recruited by Silk to yeah. become a spy. I don't know. I can't, I can't find any way to justify that name. Though. Yeah, That's that name is awful. I'm like, what's wrong with just calling him Ultimate Spider-Man? Yeah, or just... Like, he already took over, or just like, the end of that comic. Spider-Man. Yeah. Who's that? Okay. Yeah. If you're reading it, you know what you're reading. It's a Spider-Man comic. Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. So stupid. How do you feel about Spider-Woman's costume? Like, her her shirt and goggles thing? Uh, I don't mind it. I like the... The costume was so good, though. The the red and yellow... Yeah, with yes. the big spider. Yeah, I liked that one better, but... I, I mean, that was her costume for, like, 40 years. Yeah, I don't I don't mind so. the goggles look. It's fine. I don't like it. So, it I, doesn't it doesn't bug me. Sometimes costumes She will. just looks like some random person yeah. in a t-shirt. Sometimes costumes will bug me, but that one doesn't. I don't, I don't like it. So... Not even a little. Maybe it's because I'm not... I'm not super connected to that character. Like oh, I, no, Spider Woman's great. I like Spider Woman. I like Spider Woman more than I like Spider Man. <laughs> now twenty nine nine. Let's not get crazy here. Um, we're not even better than the original Ultimate. Yeah. Let's not get crazy here. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, I'm not... Okay. Anyway, we're going to move on to some of the non-superhero movies. Yeah. All right. I'll yes, please. Uh, probably one of the other big, we'll make a billion dollar type movies next year. Yeah. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now you told me, I think this week, that you're not going to see that. I am probably not going to see it. Yeah. Now, there is always the case of... Yeah, I have, that's right. <laughs> I have a five-year-old who, when this comes out in June, will now be six years old. <laughs> and when I was six years old, if a big dinosaur movie came out, it could be the most retarded movie ever made, and I would want to go see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so you're going to see it. I'm probably going to see it. You and me saw Jurassic World opening day in a super crowded movie theater, because we saw it at, like, noon. Yeah. And... And Bolt didn't like it. No, yeah. Yeah, the movie sucked. Yeah, I don't know why we went and saw it opening day, too. I was hoping you'd be good. That's yeah, why. That movie was fucking awful. But based off that last one, I have zero it faith was, in this new one. Was this it this one, one supposed to be more horror-like? I don't know. That's but, what they were saying. But the, the trailer for this so that, one... That, I think, is more interesting. The Does trailer for this out? one, yeah. I it looks it. it looks worse than the oh. trailer for the first one. Yeah. So, my expectations are very low. That might mean I'd get pleasantly surprised by it, but mm. I'm not expecting to. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, you remember in Jurassic World, there's like that whole thing with those, with those two kids and like their parents were getting a divorce and they were like crying on a like, tram yes. or something. And I was just like, what the fuck I is going the, on? I hope those kids aren't in this movie. I hope they died off screen or something. If I find out those kids are in this movie, I can guarantee I'm never going to watch it. Because they were awful. Yeah. They were terrible. No, I think this is... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the trailer even was. Something about, like, there's a volcano going off, and so they go... They're going back to the island to rescue the dinosaurs? Cause what? Yeah, because there's a volcano going off. Fuck them! Exactly. You, you, can't, you can't bring it back to the U.S. They tried that in Lost Worlds. Yeah. And yeah, know. what would they do with them? How would they even transport them? I don't know. That there's no way that's the plot. The trailer is like we have to go back to the island, and then there's Chris Pratt running away from like a volcano that's going off. They're like we gotta save them. Maybe they mean like we gotta save the people there. I think they mean it's why. The dinosaurs. Why would they want to save the dinosaurs? That's so stupid. I don't know. You can't shoot at them half of the time. I don't know. And then want to save them the other half of the time. Like, that doesn't make any well, sense. people aren't going to want to see all the dinosaurs die. I'm okay with that. I, you are. Guess what? They died billions <laughs> of years ago. Get over it. How cruel it is it's, to, it's to, always to bring back a species to let it die again. Look, well... <laughs> uh, maybe if they were smarter, they wouldn't have let that happen to them. That's true. Uh... Then Next time when you're bitten by a mosquito, swap it away. This movie looks like absolute shit, but I probably can see that. <laughs> okay. Great. Ugh, that's so stupid. You're not a Star Wars fan. Uh, not particularly, no. Me neither. Do you have any thoughts on the Han Solo solo movie? I know people are very conflicted about it. That's Other than that, I don't care. That's I'm not all gonna I see know. it. So we're going to skip right past that one. Nice. Okay. And Star Wars fans, I'm so, sorry, but at the same time... So we don't like the movie that you like. And we don't like you. Yeah, probably not. No, nah, I mean, we, we just don't like everything you like. Here's one that I guess made, by extension, we couldn't like something. Here's one that you really, really get into. Yeah? This October, uh -oh. another addition to the Halloween franchise. Mm. Is it by Rob Zombie? Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm. But it does have Jamie Lee Curtis back again. Of course it does. <laughs> it's something like it's four, it. 40 years later, she's being hunted down again, kind of thing. Did that already happen? Like, the, there's that, like... Yes. Yeah, like... It's happened... Wasn't that, wasn't that like, part that, of the... That's the plot that, of, like, like Halloween, like, H2O or whatever? That's the plot of, like, four of these movies. Yeah. Anyway. Ah, uh, why? I'm going to say Why doesn't she just, like, move out of state and I don't stay know. there? Like, it's just a guy. Just leave. Yeah. But a Halloween movie coming out around Halloween. Shocking. Put you in the holiday spirit. No, yeah, I'll, I'll see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's probably good. Can't be. help it. I like Halloween. I don't. A lot. And by that, I mean the first Halloween. 
and and the rest of them can can kind of yeah. fuck themselves. I don't really know much about the plot, and obviously this is another one I haven't seen any trailers for or anything yet. But uh, the poster looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. What like, which album was it where he was like he was like hunting down like his his like niece or something? And there was that one scene where that guy starts whacking him with a piece of wood, like in in an attic or something. That might have been. And and the girl keeps like the girl like travels through like a laundry chute. Let me think. Like up and down through. Ha- Halloween one was he was going after Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Halloween two he's going after Jamie Lee Curtis who's in a hospital. Yes. Halloween three is the one that has nothing to do with any of the other ones. It's the one where the masks turn people's faces into bugs. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> so it was. It was probably Halloween four. I mean, it must have been anything after, after that was, was anything after Halloween. I don't remember anything? Yeah, about. anything after Halloween three and before the Rob Zombie ones is all just a mess. I don't know what any of it is. Anyway, that one was okay, actually. Yeah, That's some cool stuff. So I mean, maybe you want to marathon all the Halloween movies before this one comes out. I would actually be very all willing right. to do that. All right, we'll do. <laughs> okay, we'll do a podcast. Uh, the Halloween franchise. Ooh. Nice. That'll be that'll be uh, an October episode. Nice. All right. Did you ever read the no. I'm told super critically acclaimed book A Wrinkle in Time? No. Me neither. I don't know what that is. It uh, it's apparently a book, and that turned into a movie. That I guess has Oprah in it. You interested? It's Oprah in it. <laughs> <laughs> You interested? It that I guess, that I, like <laughs> the way you said it was almost like you didn't want me to know. You're like, it's a movie. It's based on this book, and uh, it also has Oprah. In it. <laughs> and it's like, uh, come again? <laughs> Did you say like Oprah? Like, uh, you know, like the Oprah? Yeah, like the Oprah. <laughs> like owns like ten percent of the world. Oprah. <laughs> yeah. Why? What? What's it about? I don't know. You can't just sell me on that. It's it's not like I I follow anything to do with Oprah. I don't know. I watched the trailer. It's bright and there's a lot of like weird stuff going on. Who but is she in it? Some lady in a big dress. What? I don't know. I think she's like. You are not selling me on this movie. <laughs> it's something about time. I think she's like the the queen of time or something. I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know what this movie is. The trailer looks interesting. <laughs> Queen of Time? Let's walk into this one knowing nothing and we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I guess I'm interested by that description. You should watch the trailer. Okay. You'll, you'll be, you won't know what's going on, but you'll say, ooh, that looks nice. A Wrinkle in Time. I'll look it up while we keep talking. All right. Did you read the critically acclaimed book, Ready Player One? No, I saw the trailer and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I saw it before I saw The Greatest Showman. The and, trailer uh, looks yeah, like, like a at first, grand mishmash of boring. Like, at first, I was like, this this just looks like a, a shitty futuristic movie. And I saw The Iron Giant, and I was like, was that The Iron Giant? Oh. And then there's a bunch of video game stuff, and I was like, wait, but what happened to The Iron Giant? Yeah. What is that movie? And it's called Ready Player One. I assume it's a video game movie, but why is the Iron Giant there? He's not a video game. I don't know. Was there an Iron Giant video game that's like, for the, like for the well N64 known? Or something? Yeah, know. like that's like really well known no, or something. I have no idea. I never heard of one. Why was the Iron Giant there? This is based. I don't get it. This is based on some book where I guess you go into like a virtual reality type of thing and. Anything you like, I guess, is there. There's, like, the Back to the Future cars in there. Is like, Yeah, and one of the trailers, there's just, like, there's everything. What's it called Ready Player One, then? I have no idea. Ready Player One would be a video game movie. Oh, so A Wrinkle of Time is a Disney movie. Yeah. Uh, there's some people playing basketball. I assume that's Oprah when she was young. I don't know. Who's to say? I don't know, because we didn't read that book or Ready Player One. Yeah, and also, I don't have the sound on while I'm looking at this, so, uh... Yeah. Oh no, that that little girl became a mom. I oh, guess. Yeah, see, it's based on a classic novel. Uh, oh no, I think those are two different people. Oh yeah, like the cinematography is pretty cool. There's some cool visuals. Oh, what it is, I have no idea. Though. They're in a big white void. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're jumping around. It looks like a, uh, uh, was it the sea of holes? <laughs> <laughs> of all the things. Oh, uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, the sea of holes. <laughs> anyway. Hey, so, wait, 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 wait for it. Actually, no, continue. The house is, like, so, waving. Uh, 
Ready Player One, just based on like what's in. I don't want to see it. What's Not in, even a little. The thing is. Oh the, yeah, like it actually. Her hair was white. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's also the guy who who plays uh, Captain Kirk. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris Pine. <laughs> I was like, do you do you I'll, know? I was, I was searching uh, for the name. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. It looks like a a weird movie. I don't know what it's about. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be terrible. Yeah, I was to say. I'd be willing to see it, maybe. You know, I'm going to listen to it with the sound on later. Yeah. And it all depends on how the kids sound, because you know I hate child actors. Like, I hate them. As do I. Like, I can't stand them. All right. So... A Wrinkle in Time, we might be sold on seeing, and that comes out of March. Ready Player One, neither one of us are sold on seeing. I'm not that seeing that one hundred percent. Now I'm here's, here's, here's a movie that. that comes out in March that I'm one hundred percent day one going to see. Okay. A new Tomb Raider movie. Oh hell's yeah! The trailer looks cool. Do you think Angelina Jolie will make a cameo? As who? As I, don't, I don't know. We can. As future. No, it's a, it's a, she doesn't have to be anyone. <laughs> oh, she could just you know, be like, like, someone who works at like a bar or something? Yeah, like she could just be driving a cab. Like, it doesn't matter. I hope so. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be neat. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, she's the captain of the boat. You know? okay. um, yeah, that movie looks great. Yeah, I'm definitely into it. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm really excited sorry. for that movie. I liked the Tomb Raider games. Yes. Uh... You and me are two of the people who actually like the Angelina Jolie. Dude, Tomb that Raider. movie's awesome. I waited so long before seeing that movie. Oh, that movie was great. Are you kidding me? A lot of people don't like that movie. Dude, they're stupid. But anytime, That movie was amazing. But anytime someone says... Top 10 movies of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyone, anytime anyone says video game movies are horrible... I always say, oh, I like Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tomb Raider's the thing. Oh, yeah. so, you can't, so you can't say that. This movie looks cool, though. Yeah, it does. It looks like a fun adventure. Yeah, I think this will probably take best video game movie in most people's eyes. Best video game. Sure wasn't that Assassin's Creed movie that came out. Oh. That movie looked like crap. Yeah. I don't know anyone who saw it. <laughs> Speaking of video game-ish, I guess, movies. Yeah. Rick It Ralph 2. Comes out in November. Yeah. Do you like the first the internet. Out? Yeah, I did. Uh, Do you want to see him break the internet? Uh, yeah, sure. I kind of don't. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying. Are you not a Wreck-It Ralph guy? Wreck-It I, Ralph was a good movie, though. I liked the first Wreck-It Ralph, and a lot of it was because looking back on like a lot of those cabinet games and stuff like that, yeah. it was sort of like a fun nostalgia thing that still holds up for what it is. Yeah. Ralph Breaks the Internet seems very much like this movie will be okay this year. By next year, it's all completely outdated, <laughs> and none of the references are funny. It seems like a very well, in-the-moment movie. At the same time, I'm, I'm not even expecting it to have that much to do with the Internet. It's called It Breaks the Internet. I know, but well, think about it. Wreck-It Ralph 1 was all about him. He's a bad video game character. He wants to be a good one. Half of the movie took place around Candy. There were more candy jokes than there were video game jokes because they spent their whole time in a candy video yeah, game. Well, the back half is a lot about candy, but even that in that whole candy area is sort of just like a candy version of like Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, no, it is, but still, like, yeah. like so, I don't know. I'm not. I think I think they'll go in the internet and probably enter something else. You know, you don't want to see, or you wouldn't mind seeing, you know, uh, like Ralph, like I don't know, smashing like. The, a YouTube pop up or something because I feel like that's what the movie's gonna be. It's gonna be stupid internet things that aren't really I, that funny. I don't. I don't know. I really don't know what what will happen in I this have, movie. I have zero excitement for this movie. Like I, I don't. I don't know what what could happen. But no, I, I'm, I'm excited. All right. I hope Sonic is more of a part because <laughs> he's he's huge on well, the internet. And so that's where the fan base complains about everything. <laughs> well, that's also that's also where you get all that. Kinky Sonic fan fiction. Yeah, exactly. It's where you see people's original characters. Yeah, I'm sh- I'm sure. Oh man, Rick Ralph has to go to DeviantArt. Uh, he has to go to Google, look up Ralph the Hedgehog, and see what pops up. Rick which Rick I'm Rick. gonna do right now. Wreck It Ralph three kinky fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
All right. Oh, God. Another video game turned movie. Yeah. Jesus, how many is Rampage. <laughs> Your boy, The Rock. Starring Queen The Rock Johnson. In the trailer already came out for that. I, I think I watched it, and I was like, this looks fun enough. It looks it looks okay. The CGI looks real, real bad, though. Well, what do you expect as a Rampage movie? What was the last movie you saw with The Rock that you actually like, really enjoyed? Moana? I don't. I don't see most rock movies. Like I'm not a huge I, fan like you are. I do see most of them, and the the amount of them that I like, percentage wise, <laughs> is shrinking at a rapid pace. Did you see Jumanji? I did not. That was sort of the breaking point where I was like, I don't want to see this. <laughs> so I probably. I think that looked it. better than a lot of his movies that have come out in the past. Well, like I saw year. Baywatch. Did you? Not good. Yeah. Ah, oh, but has Zac Efron in it. I know. I like The Rock and Zac Efron. Oh, man. Not a good movie. Damn. It it doesn't work. Shit. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, now uh, we're getting to a point where most Rock movies are going in very hesitant. So. Okay. Rampage, Rampage I don't think, will be good. Uh, I mean, it, I guess it always could be. But. He's still Ralph. How do you spell Ralph? Like R, right? <laughs> yeah, R. What do you think? So are we I don't think W Because I I like I typed it in R A L P H. Yeah. Ralph. And then and then like Google was like, you mean Ralph? And and it spelled it the same way. And I clicked on it and it brought me to the same page. So I was like, did I do something wrong? No, you spelled it right. Okay. Whatever. Ralph the Hedgehog. I'm not getting anything kinky. There's no. one there's one ooze who's green and has a can of spray paint and is wearing all leather and has a bunch of spikes around like as as spiky bracelets and spiky shoes because someone likes spencers <laughs> and uh there's one that's that's that, that's that's, that's <laughs> wreck it ralph only his head is sonic but red and and yeah okay all right he's got torn overalls and everything there's one that's a yellow, I guess, fox. Well, no, it's hedgehog. You can tell by the ears. Mm-hmm. And he has his hands in his pocket, and uh, this is fucking awful. All right. Let's continue. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, how about we go to... Do you like the movie Death Wish? No. So you're not excited to see... A reboot of the movie Death Wish, no. starring Bruce Willis? Oh, uh, no. Okay, well, that comes out in March. <laughs> I guess neither one of us will go see that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the movie Death Wish, and I don't really like Bruce Willis that much either. Do you like hilarious romps? Uh, I guess. Do you, Do you mean hilarious like it's actually going to be hilarious? It, it might be. Do you like animation? Um, sometimes. Uh, but if... Do you like aquatic birds? What the fuck are you going on about? Do you want to go see the movie Duck Duck Goose when it comes out this April? (laughs) It's a real movie, I swear. Duck Duck Goose? Yeah. Oh my god! (laughs) Duck Duck Goose? Why? Duck, duck, fucking goose. Yeah, it's a movie about a goose and presumably uh, two ducks. What the shit, man? Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, good. Well, who's in it? I don't know. The voice of, I don't know, we'll say John Cena. I'm making that up. I have no idea. Goose! <laughs> <laughs> If, if you were to name one of your favorite Disney movies, what would you say? Uh, Tangled. Okay, would you also say Mulan? Uh, no. Uh, well, I mean, it has a great soundtrack. Would you be interested it's, it's in seeing, a good movie. Would you be interested this November in seeing a live-action Mulan movie? Oh my god, I forgot that was happening. that's happening. You, you told me too! Because we, you talked told me about this when they had announced it, and there's not going to be any songs. 
when they announced it, they said it will be music free. Now, have they changed that? I don't know. I didn't look it up. The, if they, if it's music <laughs> free, then it's gonna be the yeah. worst Disney movie ever. I mean, because that's the best part of Mulan is the music. Without yeah. the music, that movie kind of sucks. I mean, I'm sure it'll it'll have like a musical score. But well, yeah, yeah, no shit. Well, some movies don't. Yeah, yeah, well, it's not an independent film. Yeah. <laughs> the movie The Birds had has no music in it. Did you ever know? That? Fascinating. <laughs> it's a little trivia. <laughs> hey, well, who, who do they got playing Mulan? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. I didn't do that Damn. much research. Damn it. Okay. Uh, that might it might be good. I don't, know. I don't think it will be. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Live action Mulan. But you do like music, right? I do. <laughs> and you do like the music of Queen, right? Oh God, this what's de- happening? This December, Freddie Mercury biopic. I think it comes out on Christmas Day or somewhere around there. Okay. Would you go see it? Maybe. I couldn't say I would or wouldn't. I mean, if, if I had nothing better to do, I guess. I don't really want to go see it, but I don't, I, like, I'm not against it. The movie's called Bohemian Rhapsody. It comes out Shot this season. December. Okay. Maybe once we see Interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I I mean, I guess I'd go see it. Speaking of Christmas, do you like how the Grinch stole Christmas? Oh, no. Yes, I do. Would you be interested in seeing a Grinch movie made by the same people who made uh, Minions? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, uh, Illumination? Yeah, Illumination. Yeah. Maker of Minions and uh, Lorax, I think? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, they're making a Grinch movie. Well, comes out this November. I mean, because like some of the Despicable Me movies are good. The Lorax, it wasn't it wasn't great. But I mean, I don't. Know, I think the Grinch is. I think the Grinch is. Wasn't a, Zac Efron in the Lorax movie too? He was. He yeah, he, in a lot of these he, discussions. he he played like a a twelve year old kid, but he he talks like. Hey, how's it going? Like, and you're just like, what the hell, man? Okay. Yeah, and you're like, you're not 12 years old. And his grandma was Betty Blank. <laughs> there was some good casting in that movie. It just wasn't a good movie. Yeah, I knew there were fun things about it, but Did uh, you, know it was, uh you remember that that you remember that scene where uh, where uh, oh fuck, what's his name? Shit, I don't remember. Okay. Where he's where he's wearing you know he's wearing the green suit and he's like he has the guitar and he's like oh yeah the one around yeah yeah and he's on like towers of money yeah that was a bit I fun did, movie. yeah yeah that was that was, <laughs> that was pretty fun that song was quite catchy it was. I couldn't say that about the other songs in that movie I don't yeah. even remember most of the songs yeah exactly I just remember that one the how bad can I be song yeah <laughs> all right. You love sequels. People have told me this. God, this I, this year is gonna suck, dude. <laughs> like I was so excited before this podcast, and now I'm just I really don't like this. Anyway, what sequel is it? Hotel Transylvania. Oh Please. my god, these movies are terrible. <laughs> it comes out in July. A weird time for a Hotel Transylvania movie. It doesn't fucking matter when you it comes would assume. Out. I don't know. Like around Halloween, but no, it comes out in July. Uh, I think officially it's called something like Hotel Transylvania, you know, like Summer Vacation or something. <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> but it's Why? Hotel Transylvania three. Look, there were there were funny parts of the first one. Pretty much anything you do with actual monsters. Yeah. I like the animation style. Like, it's fast-paced. Yeah. It's kind of rubbery. Like, the fun so, animation. So, like, I don't know. Part of the first one was, was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't see the second one. It was something about not, trying to like unleash, it. like, the the kid to be his, his yeah. vampire self. I mean, I don't like either one. I saw parts of but... it. Not not out of my intention. I just mm-hmm. happened to be somewhere where I was playing. Um... Will you go see this one? No, I the didn't go in, see any of them. The third installment. Actually, I got roped into seeing the first one too. I was I was with some friends and like they're like, let's watch a movie, and then they just like they just like pulled that out of a, a fucking sack, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't really want to watch this. 
And then we watched it. Okay. Now that was the story. All right. I always watched shitty movies with those friends. Like they never picked anything good. It was right. always crap. Continuing on a uh, on a on sequel this. thing. Pacific Rim oh Uprising. My God. No. Did you like the first Pacific Rim? No. Yeah, me neither. So probably neither one of us will go see. This. I mean, I only saw one half of it. Oh. But no, I. Once again, I didn't even want to see half of it. Okay. I want nothing to do with it. You can quote me on that. What about <laughs> this November? Okay. Creed 2. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, there we go! I think Spirits he, lifted. This is no joke. I think he's fighting, like, the son of Ivan Drago. No way! Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hell yeah! Or, like, the nephew or something. Oh, you shitting me, yeah. dude! Oh, my God! The movie's gonna be great! <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Creed was amazing. I did so not expect movie. Creed to be as good as it was. Dude, I'm gonna rewatch Creed. I'm gonna do that like tonight. That movie was awesome. It is a really good movie. Like, dude, Creed's a good. Movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, yeah I mean, we saw that in the theaters, and we both walked out of it like very happy. Yeah. Like so, man. So you're down for Creed? Ah, oh, dude, I'm so down for Creed. All right. So I'll, I'll also assume that you are down for the December release of Bumblebee, the Transformers. Why would you stuff. ever assume that? Well, I hate those movies. You like you like Michael B. Jordan fighting people. Why wouldn't you like a big robot Corvette or whatever fighting people? Those things are unrelated, <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> no, I, I want nothing to do with that. No, me neither. That, it looks terrible. Why are those movies still going? They make a lot of money. God. Ugh. Yeah. I have no faith in people. No. Like, you'd think they'd, they'd recognize, like, poor quality. Although, really, I mean, if people like it, they like it. Good for them. I mean, no one's trying to take our Tomb Raider away. You know, like... Yeah. So, I mean, good for them. All right. They, they like seeing it. But really, those movies suck. You want to hear about a movie that's coming ten years too late? Oh, boy. This May... The Slender Man movie comes out. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, like that. That was popular like years Slender ago. Slender Man, the Slender movie. The Slender movie. I'm, I made up. I, I made was up gonna say up. like really <laughs> the Slender movie. Is it just have a short runtime? Yeah, <laughs> just like the game. It has a 45 minute runtime. Okay, um, I, I. Will you go see a Slender Man movie? Is it's animated? I don't know. Man. I didn't even know it was coming out until this morning when I looked it up. I think if it's animated, it would actually be more fun than if it was a then live action movie. Then just found a very tall Slender Man. <laughs> yeah. Because really, like, I think animated, they, they could they could add a little more to it. It would be a, a bit more fun. Because really, the game was nothing. No. You it, walked around a forest and looked for pages, and if he got close to you, the screen turned staticky. Yeah. And that was it. That was the game. Like, Slender Man. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I it, it doesn't. I don't want to see it. No. No. What about <sighs> this July, Mission Impossible Six? Oh, dude! I want to see uh, Henry Cavill's Henry Cavill with there. a mustache. Man, they got my si- tickets sold on that anyway. Yeah, and we're gonna be marathoning through all of them. Yep, that'll be all a, the Mission Impossible an movies. Upcoming because I've been seeing most of them. Yeah. I've seen all of them so yeah. many times. Wow. That's what we're going to do. Exactly. We're going to knock them out. Knock when them does out? that come out? Uh, July 23rd, okay. I think. So we got time. Or July 27th, something like that. Okay. Um, I'm willing to see that. Hells yeah. All right. In June, a sequel, I guess, or a spinoff. I'm not sure how they're qualifying it. Uh, Ocean's 8. It's like Ocean's oh 11, my God. but this time it's all women. Yeah, I know. Close the John Mulaney joke. Yeah. I was like, they can never do Ocean's Eleven with a group of women. And, and now now a movie's coming out. Exactly. It will be worth it just to see if it plays out like the John Mulaney <laughs> joke. <laughs> Anyone listen what do you to say? We're like, we're like two of them break off to talk shit about the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> to talk shit about the other nine. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Oh, good. Yeah. 
Anyway. Uh, do you like the Disney classic Mary Poppins? It's fine. I really like that movie. <laughs> okay, oh. I'm just saying. Okay, good. Good Fun for fact. you. Everybody's got, like, something. Do you think it might be, I don't know, a few uh, decades too late to, <laughs> to make a movie called Mary Poppins Returns coming out this Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't, I, I can guarantee, like, this might be 95% a whole, of kids who have no idea who Mary Poppins This might not Mary be Poppins a few years kids. too late. This might be, like, a few generations too <laughs> yeah. late. Yeah. Like, it's a miracle that I know who Mary Poppins is. Like, yeah, why? Why? I don't, I don't know. I guess they... I just... I can't... I can't think of a reason. Why you would... Why... And I like Mary Poppins. I yeah. even... I even liked that Tom Hanks movie where he plays Walt Disney. And they're trying to make the movie Mary Poppins. I didn't see that, but I wanted to. I thought that was pretty good. Did that movie do well? I think Maybe that's what said into motion. I think it did okay. Oh. Yeah, um, I don't know why that's happening. So I'm interested in this one. I just don't know why they're making it. <laughs> yeah. But I'll see it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't think it'll do okay. It won't be the worst movie I see this year. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that. Yeah. Especially if you have to go see the new dress for Yeah. Jurassic World. Fallen Kingdom. Um, so those are the notable movies that uh, they wrote down for this year. Okay. Yeah, 2018 is going to be worse than 2017. It's going to be worse. Than like, oh my god. Well, no. There, I mean, there was some cool stuff. But, oh. Nothing it's like really... there's nothing good besides Duck Duck Goose. Like <sighs> everything else just sucks. Like Infinity War, and more like an infinite crap. I mean, zing. Ooh. <laughs> well, I mean, just look at the the MCU movies. Uh, you got Black Panther, Infinity War, and Ant Man. Yeah. Uh, I think those are better than Guardians Two, Spider Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok. No, I think if any war is gonna be the only one that that might rival that, the other, that's ones. gonna rival the other ones just because of the scale alone. Yeah. So already but like ha- in- hell no, Black Panther isn't gonna be as good. And I mean, you know, for the best of that man and Wasp. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be good as Homecoming was. No. So it's probably not that great at MCU year. Uh, the DCU, it's just good because they only have one movie coming out. <laughs> But yeah, but it's still going to be way worse, because last year we had Wonder Woman. Yeah, I still don't think it'd be as good as Wonder Woman. So. I mean, it might be. I can hope. Um, Tom Cruise has a Mission Impossible movie, which will probably do better than The Mummy and American Made did. Oh, yeah. Probably. So, there, there's some some positives, but uh, overall, I don't think it's going to be that strong a year. No. No. I mean, there might be some pleasant surprises, some small movies... You that, think the movie industry is gonna die? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> we we just don't like a lot of movies. Yeah, and think, we're just overly critical. I think this is just a sort of like a down year because even uh, I like like I said, some of the movies may end up being good. That live action Mulan might be really good. I Who's liked, to say? Yeah, I mean, I liked. I doubt it. I liked the Beauty and the book. Beast wasn't good. Yeah. yeah. I liked the, the Jungle Book, but yeah. I didn't like Beauty and the Beast. So, like, I like some of these new adaptations. Yeah. So this one, who knows what it could be? Who knows? Um, <laughs> some of those. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know, <laughs> riveting, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not expecting anything out of Venom or X Men: Dark Phoenix. Ah. Uh, th- Oh my god! What about one these? of one of those might surprise me. Both of them will not. Both of them. Will not. <laughs> uh, Jurassic World, you know, who knows? It could surprise me. Uh, it won't. It probably won't. Yeah, no, I. I... Creed two. We'll, we'll say, yeah, uh, hey, uh, yeah, boy. Good. Open Creed 2 is good. You know, in uh, 2020, they already confirmed that uh, Creed is, is is going to be doing kind of like a crossover movie with uh, Duck Duck Goose. Duck Duck Goose. Yeah. Called it's going to be called Duck Duck Creed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, where Michael B. Jordan boxes a goose. Yeah. And the goose is still animated. Oh. It's going to be like a Space Jam type thing, but better. But better. 
the better. Cause he he boxes a center. goose that's voiced by Goose from Top Gun. <laughs> What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'd see that movie. Oh, dude, of course. Anyway, got anything else? No, I think that's just about it. Oh, oh man. man. That's our 2018 preview. Woo! Starting the year strong. Exactly. Got two out already. Yeah, it's true. So, which is better than like, the whole last yeah. half of last year. Yeah, that yeah, is. All right. I see we had like three in total. Yeah. And they were all in like one month. <laughs> so. All right. Let's see if we can continue. I got nothing else. All right. Stay psycho. Stay lander. <laughs> Stay podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's no regrets like the present.